Hi everyone, and welcome to another video of the SAFI webinar series. In this video, we are going to have an overview of plate loads. To add loads on plates, we use the command plate loads from this menu on the addition toolbar. To add a load on any plate, we need to select the plates. Next, we assign a basic load. If the basic load is not yet created, we click on this button to find basic loads. We add a load, we specify a name, and the load type. Then we can select the basic load from this list. There are three types of loads that we can add to a plate. A concentrated load, a pressure load, and a thermal load. Let's start with a concentrated load. To add a concentrated load, we need to specify the intensity of the force. We can apply a force in the x direction, y direction, and the z direction. It is possible to change the coordinate system. We can assign the force according to the global coordinate system, or we can assign it to the plate according to their internal coordinate system. Let's add a force in the global y direction. For example, a force of minus 10 kN. After specifying the intensity, we need to specify the position of this force according to the internal axes of the plate. For these plates, the origin of the internal axes is this joint. The position x will be along the axis x of the internal coordinate system and the y will be in this direction. Let's add a position of 100 millimeters and we click add to add the load. Then we can see the load appears graphically. If the load doesn't show graphically, you can click on the button show and it will show the load on the screen. It is possible to edit the concentrated loads in a numerical table using this button. We can add, edit, or delete loads directly from this numerical table. Let's delete this load. The second tab in the plate loads dialog box is related to pressure loads. To add a pressure load, we need to specify a pressure. For example, let's specify a pressure of minus 2 kN per square meter. Then we click Add. If we do not see the load, we can click on this button, Show to display the load. It is possible to apply the pressure according to the global coordinate system, the internal coordinate system of the plate, and also a projected coordinate system. We edit the pressure load on plates using this button. We also have a numerical table containing the pressure plate loads. The last type of loads on plates are thermal loads. We have two types of thermal gradients. The first one is a temperature gradient delta T membrane for membrane effects. The second is a temperature gradient delta T bending for bending effects. So we can simply assign, for example, 25 degrees for the membrane effect and we click add. When we add it, we will see two perpendicular arrows similar to members, but in two directions that displays this type of thermal load. If we add a bending gradient, for example, 25 degrees, it will be displayed this way. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and catch you in another one of our webinar series videos.